back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen now if you've seen silver drop today and you're wondering what the heck happened today are you wondering that it's a bearish move is um, a completion of a correctional pattern is the start of a strong bearish move what's actually happening we are going to discuss that if you are new to the channel please subscribe and uh, push that like button you're going to see a lot of value con valuable content uh, for the people who already seen my content before in gold and silver my analysis that was posted earlier for gold and silver I'm pretty sure you are well aware that this is not a surprise for us the drop of gold silver was not drop of uh, not surprise for us and we were ready for it so we're going to discuss uh, first of all we'll start with the looking at a smaller pattern okay and then actually we, we shall we shall start from the the bottom up we shall actually start from the larger picture and then we'll zoom in so from my previous analysis I told you guys that there are different possibilities that exist in Elliott wave analysis one can see different uh, uh, one can label waves differently and there is no way to confirm uh, we can only argue about guidelines but as far as confirmation method is concerned we do not have a confirmation method in Elliott wave analysis so a lot of time analyticians who have spent a lot of uh, time on charts they try to look at supporting um, methods which can actually support a particular uh, labeling and in that case they can actually favor that particular labeling a lot of time momentum is used RSI based momentum trading is used momentum itself is used a uh, large time frame analysis is used to see what's happening at a, at a smaller time frame analysis candlestick patterns of a larger time frame for example yearly candlestick uh, are used to see what's happening there are different fundamental analysis that are also seen uh, to see how is optimism versus pessimism uh, large time investors in versus short term uh, traders like you and me how are they doing uh, so it's it's a mix of different things, right? So I personally use WD GAN analysis. A lot of GAN studies are not well known. Um, there is a lot of ambiguity in his writings. One cannot understand them properly, but once properly understood, you can actually use that uh, ma those methods to confirm which way it's heading. And I told you guys, I'm not telling, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I learned from LA, uh, WD GAN, but I am going to give you the result of my research, and that is. The analysis section and that's what you're gonna get so in analysis section I'm bearish on gold and silver first of all let's go back and hide this chart first of all I told you guys that this the chart that actually started right from the top right over here is very important the trend that actually started from over top a lot of people are ignoring this trend we are simply seeing that prices have moved down we have created a uh, uh, a price movement sharp price movement downward and then when prices went up we have created a lower high as compared to the previous one and in the next thing we created lower low as compared to the previous one so I, I hope you guys are seeing we have a lower low and a lower high highlight over here we have another lower high as compared to this one and we have another lower low as compared to this one and right now we are witnessing another lower high so this clearly on itself is a very very bearish for silver the trend line that's in front of you there is not many people I don't think so that anybody is looking at that trend line we are spot on at the trend line and we are bouncing back of this trend line we look at the smaller time frame analysis on a larger time frame analysis as far as the Elliott wave labeling is concerned you can consider it as a five wave structure a three wave structure and we are look at expecting for the prices to come down in a five wave structure at least alright this is what I'm looking at right now we can simply go on the chart and we can completely uh, simply bust we can say that our five wave started over here at the top and this is our wave one and two and this is our wave three and this is wave of four and this is wave five and once again we can discuss the uh, it's, a, it's a leading diagonal. it looks like a leading diagonal okay so we can go and change the cycle um, change the degree of this wave but you get the point this is five wave structure three wave structure another five wave structure so as a whole we are looking for an ABC structure uh, that actually started right from the top is a uh, sorry this is a completion of a right over here this is completion of B right over here and right now we are expecting for the price of silver to drop in five waves at least creating an five uh, five three five structure 
this is happening on a daily time frame I am expecting that we are going to see the bottom form somewhere around next five to six five to eight months I would say all right so there's a lot of variation in in, in WD can you will get small pointers from me time to time if you are interested in W can studies you will get some pointers that will actually uh, you know I'll put there once in a while uh, to help you out if you if you are really that uh, you know passionate about WD can study let's have a look at a smaller time frame and see what's happening on a smaller time frame we can go on a 15 minute chart and see what's happening so first of all I told you guys that we have seen a pattern and I would like to make an amendment amendments on that pattern um, and I confirm that pattern that okay we are looking at it let me make this keep I need to find a right place for this okay so I told you guys in my previous analysis that you were looking for a pattern that actually starts from over here goes over here this one right over here and I have found so far uh, this variation uh, you can call it a head and shoulder of a pattern a variation of head and shoulder pattern to be the most dangerous pattern that we have seen and we are looking that okay we will see it go downward instead we have created a two head pattern right over here so all right so we have two heads right now and I'll disconnect and then we came then and then we have another shoulder right over here that we have created right over here and now now we are moving down we have broken the um, let me complete that okay there we go so we have broken the the lower end over right over here the prices are jumping off to cre find a support but you guys get the point we have created a head which is two headed uh, shoulder pattern right over here this way we are expecting a, a correction but it, uh, what I'm saying we were expecting this to happen like this one but the price went up and then created a double top with this one anyway when price this one priced one jumped up it find a support along this line right over here so this is a these are different variations of head and shoulder pattern I have found them to be the most dangerous uh, patterns uh, which actually are the reversal patterns the most dangerous because accumulation a lot of accumulation happens in a shorter uh, in a shorter price range and people are looking at it oh, it's just a correction no the prices were actually getting ready to go down and people were not paying attention and all of this is happening on a support previous support so we are all we are all of this is happening on a previous support coming in so a lot of people are right now gives you an idea they are selling it and we have seen a sharper move in silver today uh, and uh, we are going to see and expect a completion uh, a continuation of this move downward let's have a look even on a smaller time frame uh, I'm not I mean let's you can zoom in this trend line I wanted to show you guys that we have broken out of the side trend line as well okay you can go on a 15 minute chart this is the one I wanted to show you guys the most dangerous thing that has happened right over here is that we have crossed the this uh, the previous structure right over here we easily crossed the structure right over here look at this we are creating a, a simulation a pattern a small correction pattern right before the price is actually crashed through it and then jumped up and right now retesting the level earlier and then came down right over here so are we to go up and complete the pattern I'm not actually sure because the pattern on itself is very unclear at, as, a, as a large pattern one can call clearly see that we have clearly seen kind of a completion of wave right over here and the correction wave right over here are we going to see first correction another wave downward and a completion of the wave right over here I'm not sure all I can tell you that starting from that top we have gone down and from this bottom we are looking and uh, that a nice jump has happened in silver there's a huge possibility that we are going to go down right now at this point we have two possible uh, wave counts on a smaller time frame we are looking at it as an impulsive right over here and the wave got completed right over here correctional wave and another impulsive down over here and probably you are looking for something like this and move down another thing possibility is that we have actually completed a sh a part of the a wave right over here that actually started all right so I'm, I'm what I'm saying a smaller wave one and a smaller wave two and a sharper wave downward three four and five that's also a possibility so keep this in mind uh, structure definitely is not complete we cannot tell at this moment but one thing we can definitely tell from support and resistance studies is that we are looking this as a whole wave 
this is a correction wave right over here and then from this point we were bearish and we were bearish right now I really enjoyed the drop right over here prices have jumped off uh, jumped up a bit but prices are going to go down this is what my analysis is telling me on silver and we are to see experience we are to experience massive price uh, drop in silver in next uh, as I said next five to eight months uh, we are expecting price to hit around fourteen dollar an ounce a lot of people are not willing to accept it especially bullion dealers as pointed by one of my subscribers that every time prices actually drop uh, or goes up a bit bullion dealers are like of kind of making the world is breaking and because they're selling silver they're selling a lot of silver and they have been selling it in last 10 years they've got people ready to buy it at any point at any um, any price and the premiums are really high in silver bullion right now but if you're really an enthusiast in silver why not wait and uh, look at a proper analysis and then buy silver okay let's have a look at another one and then we are uh, right now we are looking at uh, gold and see what gold is doing okay okay gold chart is in front of us let's go back to the daily time frame so we can actually see the larger picture first and then we'll discuss what's actually happening now this trend line that's in front of you green trend line is very important we drop below right over here and we have retesting in the previous the previous uh, resistance point right now becoming a support so I told my mm, uh, subscribers on a previous video that we were expecting uh, we were looking uh, we were expecting for the price to drop sharply in gold and we have two targets first of all this uh, the pattern that we are seeing the lower end is very important which is 1450 another one is that we have seen prices complete a structure this one right over here this structure on its own was really important and there is a possibility we are looking at 1370 and then we'll talk more about price uh, targets in the future so we, we are definitely looking for a larger swing in gold and a larger swing um, in on in the on the bearish side of the market in uh, gold and silver both let's have a look at the pattern first of all if uh, you want to see what exactly the pattern I and once again the pattern is in front of us the pattern has gone way way out of its uh, proportional form that normally we see in books we are looking at it as an A, a B and a C and C has gone way elongated B has gone way beyond uh, well it was not way beyond A but once imagining that let's say the uh, the bears, bears are so strong in this case uh, the movement in, in the strength in C is definitely a questionable thing no matter what I'm still looking at it as an A, a B and a C my WDKN studies are actually confirming that we are looking at an A, B and C pattern meaning that we are expecting a huge drop in um, gold in next um, few months to come and then I think there is a good possibility that we have actually started that drop on a smaller time frame so let's have a look on an hourly time frame if you can figure out what's happening on a smaller time frame then we will really be great so this pattern that has gone up right over here no matter what the pattern is whether it ended right over here or over here I want to see where the support and resistance is happening uh, just to see on a smaller time frame okay so I experimented a bit definitely I'm not coming without preparation and we were looking for something like this right over here all right this did not fit out we can see that okay probably support is coming I think a, ma a better uh, fit is this one right over here right over here this fits better really this is a better fit and we can zoom in on a 15 minute chart uh, to see that we have broken an important support the previous support line is broken we can see the prices came down just crawled along the line and then sharply drop and then we can retested that line right over here came back again right over here and completing right over here so in terms of Elliot I think that we have uh, as far as price I think we have created a top right over here we are very very close to the top so be really careful we are very very close to the top in gold I, but in silver I think we have very we have cleared the the top already and there is good possibility that we have created a top already in gold as well in terms of Elliot wave uh, labeling we can easily call it as a wave one 
and a 2, a smaller wave 1 and a 2. This is the most deadliest form of 1, 2, 1, 2. The reason there is a special thing that you are looking at it right now. If you look at 1, 2, 1, 2, in which both the ones are approximately of the same length, this is very, very deadly. Okay? Right over here. We can see that this length is approximately equal to this length right over here. So we can also look at that this is 1 and we are seeing a correctional pattern and this is kind of an impulsive move and we are seeing kind of a correction pattern right over here. So both waves are of same size, wave 1 right this one and this one. And then expanded flat happening on this one is also s telling us that as soon as the distribution is complete, we are to expect a stronger move downward. All right. So I'm bearish on gold and silver on a larger time frame. I'm bearish on gold and silver on smaller time frame as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the the content. Now, for in, in my last video when I approached it, then there was a comment that okay, I need to um, since the, the the channel is named Elliot Wave Analysis, I need to give something that actually purely Elliot. And I told you guys, I do not have anything from Elliott wave analysis that actually can confirm that the labeling of a trend and that's why you know you uh, if, if you go google it or if you want to look at it on YouTube different allocations look at the same price and come up with a different labeling and the reason is because the guidelines are honestly very weak as com as said as far as the uh, labeling itself is concerned and therefore, a lot, I, st I studied Elliott Wave Analysis. I was used to do Fibonacci um, retracement, Fibonacci extensions, uh, channeling, three channels, one for uh, Wave 1, the other one for Wave 2, sorry, Wave 3, and then Wave 5. I used all those techniques. I looked at that, okay, you know, we can use RSI and momentum. But honestly, I, I personally did not have much success. Uh, on its own using Elliott Wave Analysis on its own so if you want to use purely uh, if you know see purely Elliott Wave Analysis and you know go ahead please honestly help yourself out uh, here I'm sharing the purpose of this video is not to teach WDCAN analysis or Elliott Wave Analysis the purpose of this video is to entertain you with my analysis of gold and silver simple as that so you, I, I'm clear about what my purpose is on the video I want to present my analysis of gold and silver simple as that alright wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye